Greetings, this is Charles Darwin. The moon, which is behind me, is 238,000 miles away, traveling at 10 miles an hour, which was a typical speed for a carriage back when I was alive. It would take 2.7 years to reach that distance. Light, which travels 186,000 miles per second, travels in one second, a distance that would take me and my carriage 2.1 years to travel. And yet, even the star nearest to the Earth, other than the Sun, is over two light years away. It would take light traveling at that enormous speed over two years to travel that distance. And yet, the other stars in our galaxy are very, very far away. It takes over 100,000 years for light to cross our galaxy. And this is only one galaxy of billions and billions of galaxies in the universe. Now, how do we know this? Well, during my time, there was a legitimate debate among scientists about whether the nebulae, as we called them, were composed of clusters of stars or clouds of gas. Our telescopes weren't really good enough to tell, but now we know not only that there are billions and billions of clusters of stars out there, but we're able to measure their distance using the redshift of the light from them. And from that, we know that the universe, it would take 13.7 billion years for light to cross the entire universe. And as a matter of fact, that's the age of the universe also, because as the universe has expanded, light has been traveling, and that is the age and the size of the universe, according to the facts of science. It's enough to make us feel almost insignificant. And yet, there are millions of people who do not believe in either the age or, apparently, the size of the universe. They think that the universe is only a few thousand years old. Now, not only does that mean that they believe that the entire universe, the entire starry sky, is the stage setting for the human drama that began in the book of Genesis and will end at the blood and gore of the book of Revelation, but they believe that it is a fake, deceptive stage set that God has created where he put in redshifts to trick us into thinking that the universe is large and old. Now, the book of Revelation says that the stars will fall from the sky. How could that be if the stars are as large as or larger than our sun, which is a million times the size of the Earth? Well, maybe if they are just little Christmas lights up there, and if the universe is very young and therefore very small, perhaps that would be possible. But I think that the facts of science demand that we have more humility to accept those facts and our place in the universe, rather than seeing ourselves as the purpose and focus of that universe. This is Charles Darwin. Tally-ho, and amen.